Hi everyone, good evening. It's about 2 a.m., but I had to share some of my hauls that I've been getting in because I haven't really had time to be filming them lately. So I got in a Lucky Girl um, candle. Let me get it out of the box. One thing I love about them is the extra care they take with their packaging. It's absolutely adorable and I love it. And they always come so very well packed. Some people just like throw their candles in the box and don't care. But they actually take lots of care. And you can tell it shows. Look at this. They individually like wrap it like a Tootsie Roll. And I love, love, love the ribbon like these. My daughter will put in her hair. She really loves them. So you can always like repurpose those. Really love that ribbon this time. And the ribbon's always different. <laughs> so here we go. It was very nicely wrapped. Ooh. So the first thing I noticed about this Lucky Girl candle, do y'all see what's different? Anybody? Anyone that's familiar with Lucky Girl? Anyone notice anything different? Um, let me show y'all down there. Do you see that Lucky? You probably can't see it down there. Um, the Lucky Girl candles used to have a silver lid. And I was not a fan of the silver lid whatsoever. But I love their candles. So it doesn't matter. But I'm super excited to see the clear status jar lids. Yay! I just love it. It it really completes the look of these candle jars. It makes them um, very repurposable. I use them for lots of different things. I, oops. I actually have some, like, up here with candy in it and stuff. So, yeah, definitely, definitely can repurpose those. Okay, so let's talk about the candle that I got. So, this time I went with their Passion Fruit and Guava. And their price did go from, I kind of want to talk about that. Their price did go from, like, I think it was $24 or $25 up to $28. But it's because now they guarantee instead of a $10 ring, at least a $20. And that's a big deal when you're making, like, hundreds and thousands of candles at a time. So let's go ahead and smell the candle. Again, I'm loving, loving the new lids. Here's the inside. Ooh, that's very, very nice. It has a very exotic fruit smell. Like, that's the only way to describe it. So, if you're into, um, you know, kind of that exotic fruit smell, I think you're really going to like this one. And I believe it's definitely perfect for summer coming up. So, love, love, love it. Thought I'd go ahead and film this. And um, also... I was going to say, if y'all ever watch my other ones, when I come back. Now, it's really funny because people are like, at the beginning of the video, your nails are one color. And at the end, your nails are a different color. Well, <laughs> like most of you know, I work like a full-time job. And I do nails. And I was making bath bombs and stuff on the side. Well, I may film the first part of this video on a Monday. And like three Fridays from now, I actually finish the video up. So it does actually take me a, a lot of time to get videos done, but I love doing them and I appreciate everyone that follows me. But yeah, so um, I get people who ask, uh, let me see your nails. I'll go ahead and show y'all and they probably look bad right now because I was cleaning earlier. Um, I did these nails um, just for Easter's coming up and we're going on vacation. So they, you probably can't see them, but they have little pearls on them. And real Swarovski crystals on them. And I just did a, I mixed white acrylic paint with a light lavender and white with a pink. And can't really see in this lighting, but I know that's a little off topic, but people ask me all the time, like, can you show me your nails in the video? So there they are. Someday I may get around to filming some actual nail tutorials, but it's really hard to do that. So not to take the focus away from the star here, the Lucky Girl Candle. But I'm really excited, and when I get ready to burn it, I will be right back. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Um, tonight, I'm here with my Lucky Girl Passion Fruit and Guava Candle. So I'm back. I filmed the first part of the video quite a while back, and I've actually been burning this candle a good 
week and a half just on and off. Um, and so my prize is ready to be revealed. So I'm going to go ahead and blow out my candle. And this one smelled really, really good. If you're into any type of fruit or tropical smell, I really think you'll enjoy this one. And actually, I did not grab my tweezers, so let me get those. <clears throat> and this is going to be one of those rare videos, and I get asked this a lot now, um, where my nails are not done. Because it is important when you wear acrylics after a while to really let your natural nails rest. So, yeah, I let them rest for a week or two, and and then I put them back on. So excited. This one looks pretty big. Stone was, so we'll see what we have. But I really enjoyed it. And I love that when you register your jewelry on their website, they give back to a charity. Um, and I believe it just varies what charity they have going that month. So, um, yeah, I just really like that. Just a sec. And we will... See if we can get this open here. Oh, it smells just so fruity. Okay. I'm trying. And I hope everyone's been doing good. I know I haven't been posting as many videos. <clears throat> But I have really been busy with work, and um, yeah, we can work all the overtime we want, um, and <laughs> we take it to our advantage when we're able to. Uh, my boss is really good right now. Um, you know, when we don't have a lot of overtime, he's still good about, you know, letting me work that in. So thank you, Des. <clears throat> That's how I'm able to afford my candles and stuff. I work a little extra for that and I love you know it's amazing they put them in these bags and they don't I've never had one get wax on it yet um, and it's weird because it's not zippied like the other ones such a cool technique Ooh, this one's really shiny Ooh, it's really sparkly and it actually looks like it's going to fit let me see I don't have my flash on right now but here's what it's kind of like a knot design uh -huh, and it actually fits perfectly there we go. And I'm going to get my tablet and uh, we're going to go enter the code and let's see how much we got. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and here's the code. Every ring will have a, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. I've had a sore throat today. Um, We'll have a code. So I got my tablet and I have entered it in. And let's see what we got. Okay, it says, Lucky surprise, a jewelry inside your candles valued between $20 and $29.99. Congratulations. You just helped spread the luck. Your candle registration added funds to the Charity of the Month donation, which we will donate at the beginning of next month. Such a, t a simple task for a great cause. So, um... Yeah, it basically I just helped a charity by registering and I found out that my gorgeous ring is worth um twenty two twenty nine ninety nine and I apologize for the lighting, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. And that's the thing. I've never ever been disappointed with Lucky Girl candles. Um the rings are absolutely fabulous and it has a good weight to it too. So yeah. Thank you so much, Lucky Girl. And um, this was my last Lucky Girl I had um, to to burn. And that means I have to order another one. Um, that's kind of the system I do. People ask me a lot, um, you know, like, how do you, you know, how do you keep candles? Um, I keep them for gifts. Um, and also just to kind of, you know, have some to always be revealing. But yeah, when I when I burn one, I turn around and I order another one. You know, that way I always kind of have some rotating. 
And yeah, and if I ever need a last minute uh, gift for a friend or family member, whatever, always have one. So why not? But yeah, so now I'm off to try one of their other scents. Um, I've been eyeing a couple, so I can't wait to see my next Lucky Girl surprise. So thank you so much, Lucky Girl Candles. And thank you everyone that watches. And I will see everyone in my next video. Bye.